so cute. Hey, you know, it's kind of rainy outside. Maybe you're thinking, ah, oh, I think I want to get my craft on, and it's Halloween <laughs> coming up and the fall stuff. And this is Chanel Holmes. You went to the dollar store. I love this. I love I know. this. Well, so, so people that want to overspend on, on Halloween gifts or Halloween decorations, um, this isn't going to be the segment for you, so you don't need to watch. But everybody else <laughs> who likes to live on a budget. Tune in. Yeah. Get this, closer to the this TV. This is great. Here we go. So I, I just, this isn't going to take long to do, so just a quick minute of how this even came about. Um, I had taken my two young kids to the store, and uh, we went and looked around. All the Halloween decorations were expensive. And when I looked at it, and they were like, Mom, what about this? And I'm like, uh, no, that's not really that great. And then we went to the next yeah, one. Yeah, because it all adds up. It does. Yeah. And so I was like, we're going to have like one Halloween decoration. And, you know, a wreath that's mm -hmm. like $40 and just sit there and, and it's, look. It's not even yeah. that cute, is it? No. Some and, of them are. Well, when you spend that much money, to me, it's, nothing's that cute, you know. So, <laughs> so we went to the dollar store, filled an entire basket. Literally all this together, not including the frames, but all this together was about $45. And we got to build For all of, all of it. Yeah. And the kids asked, I was telling Gretchen earlier, the kids said, Mom, are we rich? When they saw all the stuff in the basket, and I'm like, now, now, we don't like to brag. We're well, the dollar store. I mean, like, you know. look at this. That you may just walk right past this little girl. Well, because the dollar store is mostly junk. She's stuff. not that cute. She, yeah. But you're going to make her cute. All. Gretchen, well, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be yeah. nice. Yeah. But you're going to make so, her cute, right? Yeah, because the dollar store has, like, it's like they bring home a bird or, a, you know, the big thing of skulls, you know, and like, this, what, what are you going to do with it? You're going to throw it away in a week. But well, and it's not making a statement. It's coming no. little and it's going to go on a table. Exactly. This, like they like were, a, my kids were hanging this on the door. That was our decoration all over their door. So what I did was, if you can um, come up here, then you can see, I literally, I just hot glue gunned everything. This is all from the dollar store, but all the kind Look of the weird that. things. Sometimes the spiders have three eyes on them, but that's okay. It's, it's Halloween, Halloween, you know, you dollar store. Okay, so, so let's talk about the frames. Yeah, so what we're going to do, all you do is get um, a poster board, a 20 by 30, just because it fits. You don't have to cut it out or anything. The dollar store sells those as well. So I know you can get them inexpensive everywhere, but you can get them for a dollar, sure. so go for it. So all I did on this one right here is, um, it's a regular poster board. As you can see, I just put it in the back of a frame. Okay. And then I put paper on it. You can paint and put paper, or whatever. But I wanted it to kind of look like a haunted house, um, like old wallpaper. Yes, or something. like Disneyland and like old wallpaper when yeah. you go to the haunted house. So normally I I, I use a glue gun, but since uh, we don't have time, I did sticky stuff, and you and you'll burn yourself. I scream, and my kids are like, "Mom, what's wrong?" And I'm like, "I'm just so like excited for Halloween." Halloween. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so okay. we're gonna have Gretchen do this. So Gretchen, all we're gonna do is peel this off. This is something you can and, do with your family. Yeah, these little cheap frames that I got at the dollar store, and they have the, I just glued the skull on, my little okay. skull that the kids had, glued it on there, and then, no, turn it around, so you got to have, put the haunted house down here. i got to, no. wait, what, I'm scared, to, you're scared. Geez. Oh, we're, we're doing do it, I was trying so you could see it. Okay. Oh, well, there that's, we that's nice. Okay. Okay. Did, and you, did you show these? Check this so out. So, we'll show you, when it, we'll put it on quick and show you the entire they thing. change. They're like people yeah. skeletons. People skeletons. What you can get for a dollar. It's amazing, huh? Look at this. This yep, is coming to life. And then I we have know. one more. And then I do it with the, the frame on there just so I can kind of get it. But you can also do it with just the poster board, um, you know, and then put it in the frame after. You just need to leave a little bit of space. Okay. But here's the finished result. That's it. I know. I kind of want to add some more. I know. Oh, you know what? Actually, happy with that. yeah, if, if you're not happy with it, this is the thing. But look at that. Cobwebs are amazing. Like, if all else fails, this is what you need. Let's put Cobwebs. some on there. Let's, okay. just, let's just do, let's do, do so that it up. Watch how scary this is going to be. You just okay. wrap it. You'll find yeah. it on your clothes later on. But. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, and the other thing I thought of, so these teeth for a dollar, you can literally paint them, do them crazy colors, just cut them. You could have a whole thing of different teeth, you know, and, and have your kids, you know, help you do it. So, and the kids think it's so cool because... Um, What's the trick in making this go away yeah you, there's no trick you just pull really yeah we okay my son just decorates with cobwebs that's it because two hours just later just buy him a still, bag of cobwebs yeah, yeah. you know I, but, I like this idea for christmas too i'm sure you no, can so go this find is, all the christmas this stuff is the too. thing too is we have this for halloween but really all you need is one board and i mean or one uh, frame and then you yeah. swap it out you do a christmas board and we have one place in our house that that displays it and i just made a lot to show you what you can do for forty dollars but um but really, like, you just pop it out, the, the board, and put it in the frame, and you have Christmas, Halloween, you know, Easter, and it's simple. Plus, you know, you can actually make all these and give it to your neighbor who, you know, doesn't celebrate Halloween, the grumpy old neighbor, your aunt, you know, 
Lisa, who lives out of her car, you know, your dad, whoever. You can't, yeah, whoever, and you've already given them all the stuff that, that they need. Do you know what I, you know what I like so. about this, though, is if, you know, maybe you don't want to buy a lot of holiday, you know, yes. or, try, you know stuff. You this is a big statement. Well, so it, yeah. here you go. Here's our Halloween. It's yeah. right there. If you're thinking, gosh, this is so cute. I can't remember all the stuff she talked about. Don't worry. Just go to our website. Mm -hmm. It's forutah.com. Click on, what are we clicking on? Click on this segment with Chanel, right? Yeah, and or we you can will. go to chanelinreallife.blogspot.com. And I'm taking these off because Gretchen is having some issues here. I, well, I know. Just, let's just enjoy what we have. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Curtis, are you thinking, i got to have that. It's I, the creepiness. I know you. It, it is. It really is nice. Great <laughs> decorations. Halloween is still a couple weeks away, though. Today, it's another holiday. Or it should be National Dessert Day. And the Sweet Tooth Fairy is here to help us celebrate, see the latest flavors they're making in the kitchen. That's coming up. Come